and welcome back to another episode of Switchbox Basics. One of the more important communication features used in business today is voicemail. Switchbox certainly has you covered when it comes to voicemail. Each user has access to their own mailbox and there are five ways that you can access these messages. Let's take a closer look to see how you can access your messages in Switchbox. The first way that users can access their voicemail is through a feature called voicemail to email. The title of the feature is pretty appropriate as it's a way for users to receive their voicemail in their email inbox when someone leaves a message. This feature works with any email client and is extremely easy to set up. First, you'll need to log into your Switchbox user portal with your extension and extension password. Contact your system administrator if you don't have your login information. Once you are logged in, you will see three tabs at the top, features, voicemail, fax, and reporting. When hovering over voicemail fax, you will see three options. Select voicemail options. On the voicemail options screen, you will see five tabs at the top. Select voicemail notifications. Once this tab is selected, click on the create voicemail notification button. Here you will enter into the email address where you would like to receive your voicemail notifications. Keep attached WAV file toggled to yes to receive the actual message. If you change it to no, you will only receive a notification that you have a message and not the message itself. And that's it. When you receive a voicemail, you'll receive an email notification like this one with the caller ID information, the date and time it came in, and the message itself in WAV format. Another way to access voicemail is through the user portal itself. Once you are logged in, hover over the voicemail fax option at the top of the screen and select mailbox. This brings you to a visual voicemail box where you can see new and old messages. You can play the messages from here, forward them to other people in the company, file them away, or delete them. The next way to access your voicemail is through your Digium phone. Digium phones have a visual voicemail app that delivers visibility into your voicemail similar to what you are used to with your soft phone. If you have a new voicemail message, the red message indicator light will blink. To access the voicemail app, press the voicemail feature key. Here you will see a list of new and old messages. Scroll to find the message you want to hear and hit play. When the voicemail is playing, you can rewind, fast forward, and pause. Hello, Sheena. This is Bob. Lucas was calling to get an update on the Anderson project. Give me a call when you get a chance. To call this person back, press the call back soft key. To see the details of the call, press the Details soft key. When you press More, you have access to forward that message to another Switchbox user. Move it to a voicemail folder or toggle it as read. You can also access your voicemail through the Switchboard. The Switchboard includes a voicemail widget that shows your new and old voicemails, allows you to listen to them, delete, forward to another user, or mark it as read. This option is perfect for receptionists or call center users who work predominantly in their switchboard. The final way to access your voicemail is through the Switchbox soft phone for iOS and Android. The soft phone gives you the visual voicemail features you are used to with your smartphone so you can see the messages you have and tap on each one to listen. You can fast forward, rewind, and pause the message as well as easily call that person back, mark the message as read, or delete the message. So as you can see, there are many easy ways for you to access your voicemail through Switchbox. Pick one or two ways that fit your workflow and enjoy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next episode of Switchbox Basics.